All right, so I was playing with the sharpen tool just to show you how you can have a little bit of control over your assets before trying to cut them out. But instead of doing really clean cutouts right now, which I could do a few different ways, what I'm going to do next is play with what are called image adjustments. So image adjustments, we've played with levels before. They can directly change your pixels. So you go to image and adjustment. And then the ones we're going to use always in this order are levels, color balance, hue saturation. Levels, color balance, hue saturation. So levels first, this is the brights and darks. This was the, the image I brought in. If I want it to be a little bit darker, you can always start with this mid-tone slider, except I'm affecting the wrong layer here. There we go. Your adjustments are going to affect the layer you've selected. There we go. So image adjustments levels. That's a good place to start. You want to be careful not to do too much with these side sliders or you're going to lose pixel definition. So instead of messing with the highlight slider here or the shadow slider, which will just take things to black, I want you to play with the mid-tone slider and decide if you want it to be a little bit brighter or a little bit darker. Since I want this to be kind of a, a little bit cheesier, you know, pun intended, fast food landscape, I'm going to brighten up the mid-tones a little bit. You can also limit them. So if you want them to be a little drearier, you can, you can dim the highlights or dim the shadows. So I might dim the highlights just a tiny bit. Next, that's lights and darks. And you can see in your history what that did. So before levels, it looked like that. After levels, it's not quite so moody based on what I want. Next, color balance. This is my favorite adjustment tool. Uh, start just like with levels with the midtones, but this isn't lights and darks. This is the color temperature. So if I want to bring out the cyans, I can push it a little bit more towards green and cyan. You just have to kind of play with it and see. That's in the midtones. Then in the highlights, maybe I want to push it more towards the yellows, brighten it up in the reds. But I think those reds are a little strong. So I'll bring them in this way to get those subtle pinks. And then in the shadows, I want to go more towards the blues. It's the color theory. If you put highlights more in the warm spectrum, shadows more in the cool spectrum, you'll get more dimensional depth. Now, color balance can be very subtle, but it can really help things match. So that was it before. This is it after. The last one, which is kind of the, the big guns, is hue saturation. You really only use this if you really want to intensify your color or if you want to change your color hue completely. So for this, I might just shift it a little bit one way or the other, like maybe a little bit more towards the cyan and a little bit less saturated. I don't use lightness here because that's better controlled than levels. Actually, I think probably about right there. So you can see, I didn't do a ton with that, but it helped to even out the sky. And actually, I might like it better without the hue saturation, but it's worth trying it. All right, next, the pizza. You can see how that pizza doesn't look at all like it belongs in this sky. One way I can fix that is with opacity. I can kind of fade that pizza a little bit, like an 80% opacity into the sky. But the big thing is going to be these image adjustments. So levels, play with the midtones. Do I want to darken it or do I want to brighten it? Looks like I want to brighten it. This is a sun in the sky or at least a planet, right? Next, color balance. This has a lot of reds and yellows in it, so I'm going to start with the midtones, and I'm going to start pushing it instead towards green, blue, and cyan. You see how that starts to set it in the sky? Shadows, I'm going to go more towards the blues and the cyans. And highlights, I'm going to see if I can get away with yellow. 
kinda. But no, I need to push it more towards the blues and the cyans. So now it looks like that pizza's in that same atmosphere. And we have a few minutes left, so I can play with hue saturation. I love these because you get to see if you like it, right? If I really intensify the saturation, if I really take it down, the intensity of the color. I'm going to up it a little bit so it's clearly identifiable as a pizza. And then I'm just going to push it maybe slightly this way. So what was it like before I did anything? Looked like that. Then with levels like that, color balance like that, hue saturation like that. Big difference from the beginning. So you have a lot of control with just levels adjustments, which doesn't require you to select anything, just to be on the layer. Let's see, then I've got this goulash. It's kind of a background that these different mountains are on top of. So the same thing with the goulash. Levels. Do I want it brighter? Do I want it darker? I actually want it a little bit brighter, but I think I want to limit the highlights. Then maybe even goose the shadows just a little bit. You can always see just with Command Z. Or better yet, your history, if you like what you did. Okay, next, color balance. I'm going to shift it more towards the greens. Towards the magentas. And in the shadows towards the blues. And I'm losing a little bit of that red, so I'm going to go back to the midtones, get those reds in there. In the highlights, add some of that red. And then the big guns, which you don't always need, but hue saturation. You can see what major shifts would do to it. Ooh, like pushing it to that. Almost like lava. And then playing with how intense it is. I'm not too worried about that parsley. I'm worried about what this sauce feels like. Okay. And on and on and on. This way I can get these to really look like mountains in this environment, but I'll do that next time. So this is, again, just rough placement right, of your features. So I'm going to do a quick screen grab of this, post this to Canvas, just to remind you of where you want to try to be by Monday just with rough placing. And if you can start playing with what are called image adjustments, direct adjustments, there's three we use, levels, color balance, hue saturation. It give you total control of lighting and color. Then I save my work. And I look forward to seeing what you guys come up with. And I'll see you after the weekend. Make sure you save it. If you save it as a PSD, you can keep working on it in PhotoP. And if you have all of your layers already in the PhotoP file and they're rasterized, you don't need to keep all of your references you know, with you. You'll have the layers you need in the computer already. So let's make a little note here. Placements, of rough cutouts, and starting to play with image adjustments. Great. And I'll post these videos right away.